Do you want to know how to make these incredible hot dogs at home? Keep watching this video and I'll show you how. Guten Morgen everyone and welcome to another baking video. Today we'll be making or baking hot dogs. Who doesn't like a good hot dog while watching TV, maybe watching some football or hanging out with some friends or maybe with your family too. But what we are going to do in this video are the hot dog buns. Yes, nothing like a hot dog bun coming right out of the oven. Of course I know that you can always go to a supermarket and buy some incredible and gorgeous hot dog buns, but in that case this YouTube channel wouldn't have sense, so why don't we start baking? And here I present to you my super secret hot dog formula. And here are the ingredients, but the main one is this one. Yum. It's also going to be yummy in a few minutes. But yes, this is yum. You could also use potato if you don't have yum. In this case, I'm using yum, the orange one. There are also some many other colors, maybe gray, someone a little bit violet. Depends wherever you are. And this main ingredient, the yum, is going to make the dough really, really, really ridiculously moist. And of course, these are the other ingredients. All-purpose flour. One egg, some salt, some fresh yeast. In case you don't have fresh yeast, you could use dry yeast. Just use one third of this one. Some butter, some powdered milk, sugar, and some water. Time to start kneading, but today I won't be using my hands. I'll be using my mixer. Of course, you could do this by hand too. And instead of using the regular hook, I'll be using today the paddle. Why are you using the paddle? Because the dough is going to tell us when is it ready or when is it enough kneading. In some moment the dough will hold the paddle and that will indicate that it's enough. But before we start there's something that we have to do. What we have to do is making some yam puree. So what I have in here is some yam which I have already boiled. There is nothing added into it. It's just yam boiled. So Let's make the puree. Ready. Now follow me uh, uh, to the mixer. Here I have the last two ingredients, water and butter. The water is going to go in as soon as I start the machine, but the butter I will add it a little bit later when I see some gluten development. Sometimes if you see that the dough is a little bit dry, you could add a little bit more water or milk. Okay, time to check the dough. As you can see, we have already a dough here and there is some kind of gluten development. Now it's time to add the butter. Now that the butter is added, let's move to speed number two. Good, it's been five minutes so let's check the dough. And how is the gluten development? As you can see, the dough is already holding the paddle, but I need to check if the gluten is already developed. As you can see, there is some, but not as good as I want to. An excellent gluten development is the key for the perfect bun. Remember that. All right, let's give it some more minutes. Okay, time to check. It's been around 10 minutes and see how the dough has already hold the paddle and now time to check the gluten network and I think mm -hmm, that we've got it. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. 
Okay, time to make the best homemade buns. So here is the dough, and I want you to see how soft and tender it is. See, oh, no, not that close. The dough, the dough, feel this. That's the power of the yum. Yummy. Are you lost with all the sourdough bread recipes that you find on the internet? Would you like to learn all the tips and tricks to make your own sourdough bread at home? Then I have the solution. I have designed the perfect masterclass of sourdough bread just made for you. By clicking the link on the description, you will learn how to make and take care of your sourdough starter, how to knead, shape, ferment, and bake your sourdough bread, how to use and read the baker's percentage, all the basic techniques to bake like a pro at home, and how to read and understand your dough. Don't miss out on it and click the link on the description right now. Time to divide the dough and prepare these beautiful hot dog buns. Okay, the pieces should be around 80 grams, which is a good way for these hot dog buns. 76. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. <laughs> okay, here have the three pieces and now let's start making the dough balls. There are many ways to make these dough balls, but the first one is like this. You take all the edges here into the center, making some stitches. Okay, when it's done, let's flip it over and finish it with our hands. First dough ball ready. But they're making hot dogs. Yes, wait a minute. Let's shape another one. This is really easy. We can flip it over easier and then start kneading with our hands like this. Yes, like this, using these two fingers. And there, we're done. Now that we have the dough balls, now we have to reshape them in a cigar way, which is a hot dog way, okay? So it's really, really easy. So let's take the ball, and now we'll shape it like if we were doing a little baguette. See how easy it is. So good, this is the final shape of our gorgeous hot dog buns. Let's make another one. See how easy it is. Good. Two, and let's make this third one. And now here I have my baguette tray, which is really, really used. But in case that you don't have this tray, you could use just a regular oven tray too. Let's put some oil. And let them rest here on the tray. But there is still something else that we need to do. The egg wash. We have two ingredients. First, let's go with the egg. And let's see, it's around 50 grams. So we add the same amount of milk, 50 grams too. There. And now time to mix it. Okay, that's enough. Now we're going to brush them really gently, like this. feel like Leonardo da Vinci or Van Gogh, Van Gluten. And last ingredient, totally out of the blue, some cheese, Parmesan cheese, that we'll put on top of our beautiful bread. Something interesting about this dough is that we're going to make just one fermentation. Yes, we don't need two fermentations. It's just this one with the hot dog buns already shaped. So now what we have to do is wait till they double in size and then we'll be baking them. Take a look at the buns, they have already doubled in size. So now I have the oven which is preheated at 160 degrees centigrade, which in Fahrenheit is Let's put them inside the oven and may the gluten be with them. 
Well, 15 minutes and I'll see you then. Okay, the hot dog buns are ready. Let's take them out of the oven. Oh, they are beautiful. And take a look at them. They're already cooled down. See how beautiful is this grated and golden cheese that they have on top of the bread. It's so tender. And inside is super moist because of the yum. So, talking about yum and yummy, why don't we just use them? So, let's turn on the fire. Now the final touch. And now comes the best part, the tasting part. Isn't it worth it? Much better than buying them at the supermarket. I told you so. Please leave me some comments, share it, like it, and I'll see you on the next video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about sourdough bread and sourdough starter, I encourage you to check the link on the description. And remember, this masterclass was specially designed for you.